Good morning. Welcome to Strong and Balanced. I'm Michaela. We'll be taking you through today's class. This is your first time joining us. Yes, you speak to a physician or physical therapist to see if this class is right for you. We'll start with a quick warm up. Go ahead and separate your feet. And get a nice, good base. Go hip width, shoulder apart. Start with some neck rolls. You're going to sit up nice and tall. Bring your head around in a circle. Do a quick warm up head to toe. Get everything ready for this class today. We'll do one more and then switch directions. And now we'll go the other way. The switch around. And we'll do one more. Very nice. Next up, you bring your arms out to the side and keep your chest up. You want to keep that belly button in with that pelvic tilt. We're going to bring these arms around in a circle, nice and controlled. We can start with even small circles, make them a little bigger if you'd like. And three, two, one. Now we'll switch directions. Let's go backwards. And nice controlled circles. Keeping that chest up. And three, two, and one. Go ahead and relax. Next one. You can separate your feet a little wider, and I'm going to do some twist side to side, right? Warm up our torso. So you can go from one side over to the other, and even swing your arms if you'd like, have them nice and relaxed, and even move your hips a little bit. Go from side to side, warming everything up, getting ready. And three, two, and one, go ahead and relax. Next up, we'll do our one final warm up. We're gonna now warm up our legs. Do it two different ways. You can do step side to side, or you can add in a small lunge behind if you'd like. A small step behind. You can add in some upper body movements if you'd like. Going from one side to the next, you can switch it up, do some steps, some lunges behind, do whatever you feel most comfortable. You know, we're getting our legs warmed up, getting the heart rate up a little bit with this one. And three, two, and one. Very nice. Next up, we're gonna do some heel toe raises, all right? All these exercises you can do next to something if you want some more support, whether it's the wall, countertop. So you start, we're gonna go up on our toes and then back on your heels, all right? So if you need to, you can hold on to something in front of you or next to you. And when you do this, get that pelvic tilt. So that means bringing that belly button in, shifting those hips down, squeezing those core muscles. And you want nice soft knees, right? So just a slight bend, doesn't have to be a very big bend. That helps with balance. If you're thinking, if you're, you know, when you go skating or skiing, anything like that, when you're on your own, nice slippery surface, it helps when you have that slight bend in your knees, right? You have better balance that. So we have that in our everyday lives as well. It's that slight bend, especially walking across the ice in the winter. That will help. Yeah, let's do two more. So you got two and your final one. Very nice. Next up, we're gonna get into our balance stance. We have four different balance stances. They progress more challenging as we go. First one is just feet together. Second one, you can have one foot in front of the other with some space between them. Third one, you can have heel, toe. So once you start bringing them closer together, it's more challenging. Hardest one is single leg. So we're gonna do our balance stance. We're adding some head turns side to side, all right? Again, our balance stance, and we'll go 30 seconds each leg. Here we go. So we're gonna look from one shoulder over to the other. And again, remember that nice soft knee, keep your chest up. Go from one over to the next. Again, that pelvic tilt and that uh, slight bend in the knee will help with this exercise. I mean, you can do it next to something if you'd like some support. And three, two, and one. We'll switch. So if you're doing anything on either one leg in front of the other or single leg, we'll switch legs that were in front. Here we go. If you're doing 
Feet together, keep doing what you're doing. Great. Right. You don't feel like you have to turn your head too fast, but nice and controlled. Everyone's looking good, almost there. And three, two, and one. Go ahead and take a rest. Next one we'll do, we're gonna use some hand weights. You can either use hand weights, you can use, you know, cans of soup, laundry detergent, water bottles, anything with, that will add some resistance, or you can do just the motions. We're gonna do a bicep curl to a shoulder press, all right? So you're gonna start, elbows by your side with your palms facing up. You're gonna curl this up towards your shoulders. And you're going to press this over your head. If this bothers your shoulders, you can do only the bicep curl part of this exercise, bringing them straight up and down. And if you have no shoulder issues, feel free to add that press as you come up, all right? And when you press it up, you're turning your hands so they face each other and then coming back down. All right, so those for 40 seconds. Again, you want that nice good base with your feet. About hip width, shoulder width apart, those nice soft knees, and that pelvic tilt, right? Engage that core. So you're gonna do just the bicep curl, or you can add the press. Do either or. We'll do two more. Step two. Let's do your final one. Nicely done. Just place these weights off to the side. Next up, so if you do this next to something, we're going to do leg raises, but we're going to go in all three directions. So you'll start, and lift your leg to the front, lift it off to the side, and lift it behind you. All right, so you can have some balance if you'd like. And as you do it, you can either Lift to the front, you can place that foot back down after each one. If you're feeling like you want more of a challenge, you can lift it to the front. Let it hover above the floor, don't place it all the way down, and then go to the next one, and then back. All right, either way, I want that slight pause after each movement, so that way you're really controlling it, you're not swinging your leg with momentum, but it's, see, but it's your, um, now you're using that control with this. You're going forward, side, and back. And again, as your leg gets planted, you want that nice soft knee that will help with, as you lift to each direction, right? You're changing the way your weight's distributed on that leg. So it will really help in that pelvic tilt. Let's do two more each direction. And you need support, feel free to hold on to something. There you go, take a break. Feel free to shake out your legs a little bit. The leg that's planted gets a little tired. Do the same thing, now we're going to switch, all right? So we'll just switch sides. The same thing, get up nice and tall, bring forward, side, and back. And don't feel like you have to kick your leg all the way up towards your nose, right? Just Lift it as far as it feels comfortable. You don't have to bring this up super high. Even small movements does the trick with this exercise, all right? And keep going, almost there. Let's do one more each direction. Very nice. And feel free to shake out those legs a little bit. Next, we're going to add in a quick stretch. We're going to do a hamstring stretch. So with this one, again, you can do it holding on to something. It might give some more balance. might feel um, a little more steady with it. So you have one leg straight, toe point towards the ceiling. Opposite leg is going to bend, all right? You're going to try to keep your upper body in a nice line. You're going to... Sink your hips back as you bring your chest forward, bending that opposite leg, all right? So you're coming forward, keeping that leg straight, and you'll feel a stretch all the back leg that's straight, all right? So go to a point where you feel the stretch. You can rest your hands on the opposite leg. You can rest them on something in front of you or next to you. 
And again, you'll go bend forward just till you feel that stretch in the opposite leg. Don't force anything. You don't have to get your nose to your knees. Just go as far as, again, your range of motion lets you. And three, two, one, slowly come out of that. And we will switch. So again, keep that leg straight, bend forward at that hip, taking your hips backwards, keeping the other leg one straight, the other one will start to bend. And three, two, and one, slowly come out of that one. Very nice. All right, our next exercise, we're gonna be doing some heel raises, but instead of having our legs straight, our feet pointing straight ahead, you can have them point slightly in, kind of like a flying V, like all the birds were doing flying south. So your toes pointed in, and same thing, go up on those toes, back down to their heel raise, all right? So you're coming straight up and down, Again, if you need to hold on to something, feel free, or you just have it near you as you're coming up and down. And almost there. Let's do two more. Very nice. All right, take a rest. Next one we will do, need a little bit of room. We're doing like a tightrope walk, like we're on a balance beam, all right? So you need enough space to speed all three, four steps. So I feel like you have to go over on your entire house. And start, they cut your chest up high and walk one foot in front of the other. The closer you bring your feet, the more challenging you get. So you can start with a little bit of space between them as you're comfortable. And then once you bring them Closer, the most challenging is heel toe. As you go forwards, you can also add a backwards walk in if you feel comfortable. And you can do it next to a wall so you have some balance and support. So let yourself, you know, lean on if you need it, help guide you, or a countertop next to your bed. Anything you have something around to help you with um, some of that balance. And again, enough for a few paces forward and backwards. Heel toe is the hardest way. You can space them a little more if you need it. And you can add that backwards walk. If you don't feel comfortable with the backwards, feel free to go forward both ways. All right, and I'm gonna keep that chest up nice and tall. Even if you need you have to slow it down. We'll go one more down and back. And back. Very nice. All right, let everyone finish with that one. Do one more exercise. Then we're going to take a break and we'll move down to the floor for exercises. The next one you will do is a um, march. Oh yeah, march. Sorry, do a standing march. <laughs> so. You stand up nice and tall. You can have your hands on your hips by your side. You can cross them over your shoulders. You can lift one leg up, bring it down, and alternate. All right, so like you're leading a marching band, bring one leg up. And again, if you need to hold on to something, feel free to hold on to something next to you as you're bringing this up and down. And this is where that pelvic tilt comes in handy. This would be good core work. Bringing this up, bringing it down. Again, you can hold on to something if you'd like. And we're almost there. Let's go. One more each side. Very nice. Now we'll take a quick break. Feel free to get some water. Um, we're gonna now move down to the floor. You can do it from your floor, a mat, your bed, whatever's most comfortable for you at home. Feel free to use a pillow if you'd like for underneath your neck. You won't use weights. 
So we'll meet back here in a minute or two and finish off with class, all right? And we'll find our way back. Give everyone another second or two. All righty. First off, we'll start on our backs. On our backs, we're going to start with the straight leg raise. To be on your backs, you're going to have one leg bent. Keep the other one straight. You have your toe pointed towards the seal. All right. And with this exercise, you can add in a pelvic tilt that helps protect that low back and also engages the core. There's a little more core work with it. So for that, there's a little space between your back and the floor. You're going to shift your hips down and squeeze your stomach muscles. All right. That engages the core, protects the back, right? It's pelvic tilt while you're laying down. So you're gonna lift up one leg up, keeping it straight to the height of that opposite knee, back down and switch, all right? Or I'm sorry, and repeat, I'll switch. And keep your arms by your side and we'll go for 30 seconds each side. Again, you can have that pelvic tilt. Have good control with this exercise. Let's go, two more. Very nice. Now we shall switch sides. Now same thing, keep one leg straight, toe pointed towards the ceiling, raising this up towards the other knee and back down. Nice and controlled. Everyone's looking good. Again, right to the head, that other knee, nice and controlled movements as well. Let's go. Two more. We got two. And final one. Very nice. Next up, we'll do a straight leg raise again, but now you have your toe pointed out slightly to the side, right? So, yeah, like it's almost, you know, a little less than a 45 degree angle. You're gonna keep that leg straight, raise it up towards that opposite knee, and back down. If you have any discomfort with this one, you can always just go back to the regular straight leg raise and toe pointed straight up. If not, toe pointed slightly out and same thing, raise this leg up and down. Here we go. You know, we'll go for about 30 seconds on this side then we'll switch sides. And you can have that pelvic tilt, engage that core. And nice control movements, bringing this leg up and down. Let's do two more. We got two, final one. Very nice, now we'll switch sides, same thing. 
Here we go. Raise this leg up, lower it down, repeat. Nice control movements, looking good, everybody. And that toe pointed slightly out, or you can have it straight up if you have any discomfort with that. Let's see, you got two more. You got two. Final one. Very nice. All right. Well, we're going to mix in a quick stretch. So with this stretch, there's two ways you can do it. You need to have, we're going to need a chest stretch. You have both legs bent, both legs bent. You grab behind one knee. And you'll gently pull in towards your chest. All right. So just you pull it in, the opposite leg can be bent or you can straighten it out if you want a little more of a stretch. Totally up to you and depends on your flexibility level. So again, one leg bent, pull it in towards your chest, grab it behind the knee. Opposite leg, either straight or bent. And we'll hold in the spot where you feel a stretch, all right? And three, two, one, slowly come out of that stretch. Now we'll switch sides. You can grab behind that one knee, gently pulling towards your chest. And hold that um, bent leg at the point where you feel the stretch. Don't feel like you have to force anything. And three, two, one, slowly come out of that one. Next up, you have both legs bent. We'll do a lower trunk rotation. So keep your legs together, them bent. Have your arms out towards the side. And slowly lower your legs towards one side of your mat or your bed. You'll bring them back to the center and then lower them towards the other side, all right? You can add in a slight pause if you want a little more stretch of this exercise. So one over to the other. Again, nice control movements. Your low back and hips might come off the floor. That's totally all right. And your legs might not go all the way down to the floor to either side. Go as far as your range of motion allows you. We'll do one more each side. There you go. And we'll do one more exercise on our back, then we'll roll over for the final ones. Next up, there's two different ways we can do this, all right? The first one, both of them, you can have that pelvic tilt, right? So shifting your hips down is a march. So you're almost by your side, you keep your legs bent, raise one off the floor, lower it down and repeat, all right? So again, you're squeezing those core muscles, you're marching, if you want it a little more challenging, you can start with your legs in the air, bent at 90 degrees. Lower one down to the floor while keeping the other one there and switching. All right, so you're lowering one and the other as you're doing this exercise. You can do either or. You can start one way, go to the other. Legs in the air is more challenging than the march. So go based on your comfort level. And let's do one more each side. Very nice. Our last exercise, you will go on to our side. So pick either side to start. You'll be on your side. You have 
your hips stacked over each other. You can have the top leg straight. Bottom leg can be either straight or you can bend it. Whatever's most comfortable for you. And keep that toe so it's flat, all right? You're gonna lift up that top leg, lower it down and repeat, all right? You do it, make sure you're keeping your hips stacked over each other. You're just raising this leg up and down. And don't feel like you have to go very high with it either, right? Go as far as your range of motion lets you while staying with good form, all right? And you're almost there. Let's do two more. There you go. Now we'll switch sides. All right, this will be your final one for the morning. So same thing on your side, hips stacked over each other, legs straight, bringing this leg up and down. All right, so our final one of the morning. Keep going, you're almost there. And let's do two more. You got two in your final one. Very nice. So that concludes Strong and Balanced for the morning. Thank you everybody for joining.